Hello guys and welcome to Trace Tame It. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. If you guys enjoy the content that I put out, in my description box below, I have a link to my backup channel. Make sure you go over and subscribe because I'll be posting more content. Today's video, you hear about JD Vance being weird and all this nonsense. Well, he pauses a rally completely. Like, I mean, he completely pauses it when a Secret Service member needed medical assistance. Check this video out. Uh, thank you, Senator. Surin Kim with ABC News. Um, I have two questions for you as well. Sure. Um, one is um, going back to uh, Kit's question about Brian Kemp. Um, are you playing any role in facilita uh, fac facilitating any, uh, you know, uh, sorry, are you playing any role in facilitating um, uh, connections with uh, Governor Brian Kemp or other Republican members? Um, back to bringing them back to the uh, Trump world at all. Um, mm. My second question is, um, since becoming Trump's running mate, have you talked to former uh, Vice President Mike Pence um, for any advice in campaigning? Have you connected with him? Um, or have you talked to him about maybe him supporting um, President Trump? Wow. So the first question, look, a lot of people have talked to Brian Kemp, and I'm proud to be among them. I think he's been a good governor for the state of Georgia. I certainly gave him a phone call. I think 150 other people have given Brian Kemp a phone call and talked about the need to have a unified Republican team. I don't take any special credit for it. I think a lot of people deserve more credit than I mm. do, including the there president of the United States, because I think President Trump has been very, very aggressive at trying. Stops it completely. There we go. It's, it's so human in here. I thought we lost one of our Secret Service agents. I was worried about him, but we're good. <laughs> God bless you, man. Glad, glad you're okay. There we um, go. But look, the, the, the media, here's what the media, the media wants to tell a story that somehow I have been the peace broker between Brian Kemp and Donald Trump. It's just not true. So, yeah, that was a long question. It was actually two questions, but the first question was pretty long. I was like, is she going to get it out or like, what's going on here? <laughs> But the way that J.D. Vance answered that question and how he stopped completely in the middle of answering that just to make sure the Secret Service member was OK. I know that meant a lot because he could have kept going. You know, you hear the stuff about him being weird, him not caring, but he could have kept going and kept speaking. But instead, because of who he is, he stopped completely to make sure that the Secret Service member was OK. Even after all this stuff that you hear, he stopped completely in the middle of answering that question. And the answer that he gave, I know completely like shocked the reporter because they probably were waiting to get like some extra like, oh, J.D. Vance said this, J.D. Vance said that moment, but it didn't happen. He handled that completely. Love the way that he answered it. Let me know what you guys think about today's video in the comment section. And do you guys think that J.D. Vance answered the questions the right way? Let me know in the comment section. That'll be a wrap for today's video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.